Dobrý den, dámy a pánové. Dneska budu mluvit anglicky, protože to je pro začátečníky. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to speak English because I would like to talk to beginners or to those of you who would like to pass the exam A1 for the permanent residency in the Czech Republic. First of all, let's have a look at their website. I believe they have a new address. So, Zkouška. Zkouška A1.cz Zkouška A1.cz And you get here. They have a new website. And as you can see, you can choose from various languages. So let's switch to English because that's the language I'm using. Well, uh, some of the information didn't switch. They are saying that this new website is just being piloted, uh, tested maybe. Well, okay, let's have a look at what you can find here. So you can find information about the exam, you can apply online, uh, you get some info uh, how to prepare and then contact. Well, I do not know exactly how uh, to apply for the exam uh, or any other um, official information you need to get you can find here or you have to contact somebody else. I would just like to have a look at um, well the format of the exam. So let's see. Okay so they have created a video that is showing you it's about 15 minutes 13 minutes maybe and it is showing you what to do, how to apply, and, well, what to do during the exam. So, if you have a look at it, as you can see, as I said, it's 13-14 minutes. And also, well, okay, I don't need the sound right now. It is in Czech, but as you can see, there are subtitles. and. Well, now I have switched them off, so I'll turn them on. But they can be in different languages, quite a few actually. Uh, so when you click here, you can choose uh, probably the most uh, common among those who want to take this exam. So I have English, okay. Well, to be quite honest, um, when I was looking at this video, <laughs> The girl is, is definitely not on the A1 level. I don't know, maybe she was born here or she's very good. And the people speaking in the video, they are talking so fast. I don't think people on the A1 level could actually understand them. But sure, I'm sure they would be very helpful. Uh, anyway, you have all the key information about what to do in this video. Also, how to behave during during the exam it's further uh, that uh, you shouldn't have your phone on that you shouldn't talk to the other people who are being tested uh, and so on so this is one thing you have all, all of that written also here so this is the info now online application as I said I cannot help you with that uh, but uh, let's have a look at exam preparation. What can we find here? So first of all, a practice test. Oh, and then again, the info, the, the video. And then you can download a book with the model version of the exam in PDF. If you want to get it uh, in paper form, uh, you can send email to info uh, at uh, cestina hyphen pro hyphen cizince dot cz and uh, you can they can either send it to you by mail i believe because i have contacted them and i was offered that 
or you can pick it up somewhere in person which i did myself uh another so, so okay let's have a look at that so here it's really thin as you can see just 28 pages and well the thing is <laughs> well i'm sure there is a reason for that uh, for example Czech is the official language in the Czech Republic, so everything needs to be in Czech. And it's also easier to publish everything in Czech, because to have everything translated would be probably uh, quite time-consuming and financially, well, it would be expensive. So, what I want to say is that uh, you can find a lot of very useful materials on this website. However, all the instructions or the explanations are in Czech. Well, never mind. Let's have a look. So, first, uh, the form of the exam. Here you have uh, reading. Uh, so, you see the A, B, C, D, uh, multiple choice questions. Um, so, what you need to do is read this. It's uh, classified. Uh, somebody's offering a flat or something and uh, then based on reading you need to choose what's correct uh, another task here is uh, that you have some basic information that you could find on the door somewhere or maybe well there's a menu uh, and you have to look up answers to these questions and write them here then uh, something, you, uh, well, you have to match uh, pictures uh, with these statements. So you have to understand enough to match them. And one more task. You need to choose what goes in this gap. I believe this is it from reading. And here they show you what you should actually do during the exam because there you will have to write it on a separate answer sheet. So this is how you should do it. They are also showing you uh, that you need to cross like this and if you change your mind, if you think that you made a mistake, uh, this is what you do. You, well, black it, kind of, and the cross is what is correct. I think if you eventually want to go back to what you originally chose and then change your mind, maybe you could write it here on the right, but well, I'll explore it and confirm. And here, when you need to write something, you can either write uh, numbers or words, for example, and you know, you see, they don't need to be full sentences, uh, just phrases. Um, this is what is written here, that it can be written in numbers, and, uh, well, for example, time doesn't have to be written the standardized way, it just needs to be understood. Okay, so these were the answers for the reading part. And then you have the listening. Again, there are a lot of pictures, so... Um, you listen to dialogues, you listen to each of them twice, and then you need to choose the answer. For example, where is the man? And uh, it's not just written, but it also has pictures, so that's helping you choose the correct answers. If you don't understand a word, uh, the picture can also help you. So that's the first part. And uh, here, well, there is a CD, uh, or um, actually you can find uh, the audio online, so, but here you have uh, uh, the transcript. Then, second part, in this case, there are no pictures. Again, you listen to five texts, you hear each of them twice, and you need to choose one correct answer. So, five questions, and here you can read 
what you heard. And then the third task. This time five dialogues, each of them you will hear twice and again choose one correct answer. Um, you will have time before you actually hear the audio. You have time to prepare. In this case it is one minute. So again five questions and only one correct answer uh, when preparing uh, or well trying out this model version, you also have uh, the dialogues written down, so you can check after. And then there is one more task where you actually have to write something. So you will hear a um, report, or it will be just one audio, you will hear it twice, and you have to write down words, you have one minute to read, and you have to write down numbers or words. You can later check it here. The text is here. So, for example, restaurace Lipina, uh, práce, so the job, uh, čišník, uh, plat, Mm, za měsíc, so 19 tisíc. A lot of numbers here, so when you want to pass the A1 exam, you should really master numbers. Uh, okay, so this is listening, and here you can see how it should be written down. Okay. Now, writing. You also have to write something. Uh, the first, um, you have information about a person and she's going to a doctor and needs to fill in a questionnaire, a form. So, based on this information, you have to fill it in here. Then, you have pictures showing you answers and in this case you have to write a letter for the director of a company you're looking for a job so a short letter where you're writing where you're from where you want to work what you want to do wow really <laughs> uh, how old you are and when you can start. So do they have an example here? Nope. Um, well, you would write something like, uh, Dear Sir, uh, I'm writing because I want to work as a zahradnik, gardener. I'm from Ukraine, jsem z Ukrajiny. Uh, chci pracovat v Praze. I want to work in Prague. Je mi 33 let. I'm 33 years old. Můžu začít pracovat. I can start working. working. You can use the words uh, that are used in these uh, instructions, in these questions. So můžete would be you. So you would use můžu. Yeah. Uh, můžu začít pracovat 19. You just write 19 and dot. Don't forget the dot in Czech. Června. You would need to change the ending. So dates would be another thing that you should focus on when preparing for this exam. Um, okay, don't forget about the, the format also. Um, but we can focus on that a little later. Mm. And then you have speaking. So that's the final part of this exam. Uh, first, they will ask you some questions about yourself. Do you have a brother or a sister? Where do you live? Or what do you like eating? What is the name of your mother, for example? Or uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, where are you going this weekend? So something about yourself. And on this level, your questions can be quite simple. 
I'm sorry, your answers can be quite simple. You can just answer with one word, two words. Um, but, well, it should be obvious that you understand the question. Um, then you will talk maybe, for example, about price. So numbers is uh, what you need for this exam. So you have some material provided, pictures provided, information, and uh, you will answer the questions so that the examiner gives you about them. And then uh, also time is something that uh, you should know how to say in Czech. And you need to answer questions about, uh, well, this, for example, when can you go to the doctor or when is he not there. Mm -hmm. And finally, another picture. And they might, well, they will ask you, what, what can you see in the pictures? And what is the problem? Or what is uh, the woman saying? So, speaking and actually all, all the parts of this exam are full of pictures that are supposed to help you on this level, uh, your check, uh, your language skills are supposed to be very basic and you shouldn't be afraid to ask uh, uh, if they can repeat what they asked or if they can speak slower etc um okay um oh sorry i forgot about one more part of the exam and that's making questions so uh, you will have uh, some statements here and uh, then you have uh, question words and you have to make uh, questions about the sentences on the left. For example, pracuju ve škole and you would need to say kde pracuješ. What is underlined is what you are asking about. You need to choose which question word belongs to which sentence. So, for example, v Brně is not co, but kde. Uh, je mi 29 let, kolik is what you need. And then you can make the questions. Well, you have uh, the examples down here. Okay, and then again information about the exam. And that's it. So this was uh, the model uh, version of the exam, but if we go back, what you can also find here is a handbook, as you can see. And that is something great. <laughs> but you know what? Let's have a look at it next time.